Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of my trailer collection. My name is Eve. Thank you very much for tuning in. Now, I would like to apologize that this episode uh, took a little bit while to, uh, a little while to make. Um, sorry about that. Uh, I just kind of right now have a lot of things going on. Um, but uh, I will explain that in a different video. So, and I'm also sorry about the last video. I did not pay attention and I did not realize that the music uh, overpowered the, uh, the audio of me speaking. So uh, I, w I just watched it just to kind of catch up and uh, I was like really embarrassed. So I'm so sorry about that. Um, all right, um, but hopefully you enjoyed the trailers that I showed. So welcome back. We have 10 trailers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Last episode was 250 trailers. Uh, today we will end off with 260. So let's take a look. All right, have it here. I hope everybody's doing okay. It's getting pretty hot out. So first trailer I have here is uh, Star Wars Episode Three from 2005 or maybe 2004, the end of 2004, this is the teaser trailer. Uh, and this is, um, this actually has footage of Alec Guinness um, talking in the, the very beginning of the trailer. So it's pretty cool to have this. And this is actually the best Star Wars of the prequels, uh, according to many critics and fans. I actually like the, I like the prequels better than I do the new movies. I think the new movies uh, are terrible. Let's see what we got here. Up next is uh, another Fox movie. This is Live Free or Die Hard, aka Die Hard 4. Look at that. I think I showed you the teaser trailers for Die Hard. Uh, this is the theatrical version. What does it say on the side? right before it's been rated. The film may receive an R rating, ultimately receive the PG-13. <clears throat> All right, moving on. I inspected this trailer. This is a, uh, a really bad uh, trailer, not good condition. It sucks, but it is it is what it is. Uh, this is uh, From Dusk Till Dawn. For some reason, for a trailer from 1996, it's all red. And the label's kind of messed up. Look at that. I think it says Dimension Films or Miramax Films. National Screen Services. So they were still around. They must have been on their very last legs in 1996. Uh, because they were huge in the 80s. And they kind of were, were handling all the trailers, it seems. I guess the studios were like, ah, we'll do it ourselves. It says Miramax. So from dusk till dawn. What do we got here? Ooh, another uh, Fox movie uh, from the uh, post-digital era when 35 millimeter trailers were kind of kind of running running low um, because you know everything was converting to digital. This is Prometheus, and this is supposed to have gone on Battleship. If anyone remembers that film. And they got kind of cheap with the label, as you can see. But it has the R rating on there for Prometheus. Let me fix that. That. Cool. Good trailer. I actually like the movie. I think it's okay. All right, let's see what we got here. Next is Four Rooms. Um, I actually ran this trailer. No, I was going to run it, then I had to take it off uh, um, for a movie Hollywood was coming in and I had a whole bunch on a big 6K reel. Um, so I was ready to run them, but then uh, I had to make room. So the label, I, I think I threw out, but I made one. Four rooms. Pretty good movie. The best stories are the Rodriguez and Tarantino story. Uh, I think the first story of the witches was really good. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, all right. This is labels kind of faded. This is Warner Brothers Lethal Weapon 4. 
I have two different Lethal Weapon 4 trailers. Um, I'm not sure which version this is. But I know I have two different versions. Lethal Weapon 4. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Oh, another Fox movie. A lot of Fox in this lot, huh? Um, I like that Fox lot. <laughs> Star Wars Episode 2. Labels kind of faded. Now, this is actually one of the first trailers that I have held onto when I first started as a projectionist. This is like one of the first ones I was like, you know, I can throw this out or I can, I can hold on to it for like a later date. And now is the later date to show it off. So this is a really bad Star Wars movie, but as I mentioned before, I, I like the prequels a lot more than the uh, the new movies. I didn't even finish, uh, what is it, Return of the Jedi? I, I couldn't, it's getting boring. Um, let's see. Sorry, Disney. You don't you don't have me like that. Um, ooh, Star Trek First Contact. I had to make a label for it. I like this Star Trek movie. I saw it in the theaters. I remember it was awesome. Star Trek First Contact. Sorry about the handwriting. Flat tail. All right, down to two more. Two more. I have. I've shown you other ones of these. Um, I guess these are doubles, as I've mentioned in the past. This is Independence Day. All right, and now we have the last one. This is 300 with the IMAX tag. I think I've shown you all 300 trailer before. I remember when I ran this on 35, it was uh, early March of 2007. If you're just tuning in, IMAX tag means that uh, at the end of the trailer it says, you know, coming soon in theaters and in IMAX. That's what it means, IMAX tag. So, all right, so that's 10 trailers, which amounts to 260 trailers. I was just looking in my, um, uh, I guess, crate that I've been putting these, that I have these trailers in. So that crate is almost done and I have a bag of more trailers and we should be, uh, I should be finished. So we're nearing the end, folks. So. All right, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. Please stay cool with your ACs and just uh, chill out, stay safe, stay out of trouble. And this is an 80s Die Hard production. Later. Bye.